Hello, this is How To Bob, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to change out a Hampton Bay four blade ceiling fan to a Bahama five blade ceiling fan. So let's get started here. First thing I'm going to do is loosen up the two screws on each side, and I'm just going to loosen these up. You'll see that one is slotted and the other one is a complete hole. So I can go ahead and loosen both screws on both sides. Once I get them loose, then I can take out the one that is in the hole. And I'm going to take the light bulb out. Then I'm going to take down the blades. And they all come down the same way. There's two screws on the bottom side of the blade holder. Then I can lift the fan up and twist it slightly. You can see the slot here. And it'll come down. Now I got these two screws that are covering the wire wiring of the fans. And once I take that off, I'm going to check my electric. Now I have a no contact voltage tester. You can hear the noise that it's making and the light that's on. That means that it is live. So I'm going to turn my switch off. And again, for safety, I'm going to test to make sure that the electric is off. Now that I'm sure, I can go ahead and take the fan down. It just kind of slides right off and you can see this one's in an older house there's all kinds of stuff debris insulation that's coming down out of my ceiling and I'm going to pull the wires down gently now if your switch doesn't turn off the electric you might have to go to the breaker just to make sure that you have the electric off so once I have the electric off I'm going to go ahead and disconnect all of my wires the black the white there's a blue one in this and the ground wire, the green one. So once I get those disconnected, I can then take down my mounting bracket for the ceiling fan. There's two screws holding this mounting bracket in place. Once I get my old mounting bracket down, I'm going to go ahead and reinstall the new one. And it's important that the mounting bracket gets screwed into something solid because it's going to be holding the weight of the fan and I want to make sure that that's good and tight so that the fan doesn't wobble or fall down. Now you can see on this fan mounting bracket there's a little hook. Well there's a hole here on the mounting holes. I'm going to go ahead and hang the fan off of that so I can go ahead and wire it. I'm going to put my black and blue wire together and what the blue wire is as for if you have an additional switch it'll allow you to work the light kit separately from the fan but I do not I don't have a single switch so I'll put the black and the blue together and they're gonna go through the black house wire and I want to tighten that wire nut down the next wire that I'm going to do here is the white wire and that's gonna to go to the white wire of the house and I want to get that twisted on there good and tight and then last is the ground wire to the ceiling fan push the wires back up in there and then I'm gonna put my fan you can see the slotted end here into the screw push it up in there get both sides lined up and give it a little twist and it'll stay in place till I can get my other screws let me tighten this up just a little bit and then I'll put the other screws in just to lock it into place and then tighten them down and go to the other side and I can put my screws in the other side now I have to put my fan blades on and there's two screws for each fan blade. This fan's already been installed so the fan brackets were already on the fans. If you're getting a new fan and you had to put it all together the brackets may have to be attached to the fan blades but this one was already done so now I have my five bladed fan installed in my room and I just have to tighten this last blade. Then I can go ahead and put my light covers on and I want to do this by hand and I don't want to use any tools, wrenches, pliers, anything like that or I could crack or break the glass. Once I get all three of my light covers on I'm going to go ahead and put in all three light bulbs and all that's left to do is try it out. And this is how to install a ceiling fan. This is How To Bob. Thanks for watching.